proof that the limit of 3x plus 5 as x approaches 2 is equal to 11. We're going to use the delta epsilon definition of a limit to do this. So let's recall that before we get started. So recall the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to l. This is equivalent to the statement for all epsilon greater than 0, we can find some number delta greater than 0, such that for all real numbers x with the distance between x and a smaller than delta, we have the distance between f of x and l smaller than epsilon. So we're going to use this definition to prove that the limit is 11. So before we do the proof, we're going to figure out the proof, and then we're actually going to write the proof. So it really is a separate process. So this will be the scratch work. So here we're allowed to be sloppy. So we need to show that whenever the distance between x and 2, because 2 is our a, is smaller than delta, that the distance between f of x and l is smaller than epsilon. So this here is our f of x, 3x plus 5. And our l in this problem is 11, so minus 11. And we want this to be smaller than epsilon. So this is the same as 3x minus 6 smaller than epsilon. This is the same as 3 times x minus 2, smaller than epsilon. Then we can divide by 3, so we end up with x minus 2, smaller than epsilon over 3. So that is going to be our delta in the proof. All right, so now when we write our proof, we know exactly what our delta is, and it'll seem like magic <laughs> to the person who didn't see the scratch work. So let's go ahead and do the proof. So proof, so we'll start by letting epsilon be greater than zero. So let epsilon be greater than zero. Then we have to find a delta, which we already found in the scratch work. So choose delta equal to epsilon over three. Then for all real numbers x with the distance between x and two, smaller than delta, we have, and now we're basically just going to mimic what we have here, but in a more elegant way. So we have f of x, which was 3x plus 5, minus l, which is 11, and this is equal to 3x minus 6. Notice we didn't write less than epsilon. We're not allowed to do that. That's what we have to prove. That's why it's good to separate the scratch work from the proof. Here, again, we're just mimicking what we did here. So we're going to factor out a 3. And we know something about x minus 2. x minus 2 is less than delta. So 3 times x minus 2 is less than 3 delta. And what's delta? Well, delta was chosen by us to be epsilon over 3. So this is equal to 3 times epsilon over 3. Beautiful. And the 3s cancel, and this is equal to epsilon. Boom, there it is. And that is the delta epsilon proof. This is the easiest delta epsilon proof you can do, uh, but it's really good to master it. You should know how to figure it out via the scratch work, and you should also know how to write it formally via a formal mathematical proof. So I hope this video made sense.